What's up, guys? It's Rip City Rundown, and I'm going to be previewing an interesting 8-9 game between Arkansas and Illinois, both teams with 20 wins, Arkansas with 13 losses, Illinois with 12. This game's taking place in Des Moines, Iowa, so I do think this favors the Illini crowd, so I think that you got to give their, them something there. But these are two teams that came into this year with much higher ex- or with higher expectations than what they ended up achieving. Arkansas, preseason top 10, I believe, and Illinois, I know, was ranked in the preseason, probably top 15, if I remember correct. But let's talk about Arkansas first, because this is a team full of freshmen, and I don't think you normally tend to see teams full of freshmen that struggle during the regular season some somehow turn it around and start getting things clicking come March Madness. Normally... Your team is either bad or your team is either really good when it comes to a team full of freshmen. But I will give Arkansas a little bit of props. They've turned their season around after a tough start. But they have lost to most of the good teams they've played this year. They lost to Alabama twice. They lost to Creighton, lost to Tennessee, lost to Baylor, lost to Kentucky once but did beat them, lost to Texas A&M twice but also beat them the third time, lost to Missouri, then beat Missouri. And then their only win – Uh, That's a really good win, other than the ones that I just mentioned, is San Diego State. So Arkansas, this team lives by their defense. They only give up 67 points per game. Honestly, both of these teams kind of live by their defense, in my opinion. But I do think Arkansas is a little worse offensively. They're super inconsistent from three. They don't really have a star go-to player, in my opinion. Um, So... When it comes to picking for this team, I I don't know how to go because I think both of these teams are bad offensively. I mean, you look at the Illini, they're one of the worst three-point shooting and free-throw shooting teams in the country. Um, You had the whole incident with Matthew Meyer recently with him drinking a bunch of monsters. Like, that didn't sound like a focused guy in my opinion. Uh, They're a strong second-half team. Last year, I picked against Illinois. Well, let me give you the rundown on Illinois and myself. I picked Illinois to win it all the year. They were the one seed with Io and Kofi uh, Cockburn. But obviously they got upset in the second round by Loyola Chicago, killed my bracket. So then the next year, I picked Chattanooga over them. I think it was Chattanooga. And Chattanooga got a big, big lead in the first half. Illinois ended up fighting back, winning, and I think making it to the Sweet 16 last year. This is a team that once again is good in the second half, which is interesting because, again, comebacks can always happen in March Madness. But this team can't shoot free throws and can't shoot threes, and those are two probably the most important things to do in an offensive system and if illinois has a small lead down the stretch and they can't hit their free throws arkansas can fight right back in there i think these are two teams that i really don't want to pick either of them because again they're solid defensively but they both are just really not that good offensively i think kansas has a field day with them in the next round i think kansas absolutely blitzes them but again these two teams bring it on the defensive end but i just i think i gotta go with arkansas i think i like arkansas a little more I trust, it's crazy to say, but I trust the freshmen more than the veterans because I look at this Illinois team like a UNC. I think they've already given up. Their, their season should have been much better than it was. And this Arkansas team, I think as freshmen, they still feel like they have something to prove, and I think they can get out of the first round and hopefully give Kansas a test in the second round. So give me Arkansas on this one. I'll ride with the freshmen. I'll ride with the ex- more experienced and better coach and Eric Musselman, who is now trying to seek his third straight Elite Eight with Arkansas. So... At least the coaching staff has experience, and some players on the team that are back from last year have experience. But give me Arkansas to knock off or just to beat Illinois in the first round. Peace.